friends, welcome back to Dirt Geek Be Playing. Nine hours, nine persons, nine doors. Last time we went through that uh, nice ritzy cabin with Seven and Snake, and this song was amazing and continues to be. I love this song a lot, especially when it drops. I fucking God, this this song is so good. Uh, I love it, man. Anyway, um, <clears throat> being distracted by the music aside for the moment. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, like I said. We went through the area with uh, Seven and Snake. Snake is certainly interesting. Still super sussy boy. Extremely. Um, also, he might be gay, which I'm cool with, but Junpei isn't. Because Junpei is a straight male protagonist because video games, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> and also, I ship Junpei and Jun so hard. I feel like, how could you not? Because the game ships it so hard. And June's cute, but I'm a little suspicious of her, too. In fact, some things make me feel a lot of suspicious of her, but you know, we'll get to her. I really want to know what the hell is going on here, man. I love this song a lot. Okay, so yeah, we saw more of Snake than we ever have last time. And like I said, I feel like he's interesting. I really liked how you got a glimpse into how he goes about life and perceives certain things and how he navigates everything with being blind. They did a good job of highlighting that. And also, his personality is interesting. He's very knowledgeable. He's very, very articulate. I get a lot of very high society, rich dude vibes from him as well. I mean, obviously from the way he dresses, but also just like... And also, Clover honestly seems like a, ro a spoiled rich brat, so I think they're both rich. Especially because if she would tell him she wanted a bed like that, it's very extravagant. Like, think about that. But regardless, I still feel like he might be that rich dude that might own this boat, and so that he might be Zero or related to Zero or something. He might know more about the the game the others are going on, at least, and I think he very well may have killed the ninth man by telling him that he could go in that door alone. So, super sussy boy, really interesting, and, um, that- that joke <laughs> when you click on the bed a bunch of times, or he's like, you seem very interested in that bed, maybe you want to be on the bed with me? I wonder if he's gay or if he leans in the men direction or if he just wanted to get a rise out of Junpei, which certainly worked. <laughs> Oof. And then Seven, we got more of Seven's light hearted side, and it makes sense because this is earlier on in the game. But I also feel like he may have remembered something and didn't want to let us in on it. I'm pretty sure that when he has those headaches, it's always remembering. At least, you know, a headache triggered the memories towards the end of the, you know, the last route I played, the first route I played. So there is that, and I wonder what he remembered because I think he remembered something. I don't know, man. Maybe I shouldn't read into that too much, but what I feel like I should read into is the fact that he wanted to leave the door open. Oh, I just wanted to play a little piano. Sounds like a pretty half-assed excuse. I think the real reason is there's that safe in there, and we did not open that safe. I think he wanted to keep it open because of that safe. That's my theory anyway. I don't know why he lied, but I'm pretty damn sure that he wanted to keep it open for the safe. But regardless, Let's explore this room now. I love this song. It's so good. There's something on the counter. Looks like a card. A playing card. Seven of spades. Another card here, I think. Hmm? Another playing card? So, four of spades. Kind of pretty well polished. Oh yeah, let me look on the back of that one too, but it doesn't look like... Yeah, it's just too... I'm sure it, it's numbers to put into something, maybe? Knowing zero so far, but I'm guessing, obviously. I say knowing zero, but you know. Judging by the game so far, you, I don't think you could really know zero. A lot of expensive glasses. Even cheap drinks that taste great out of the glasses like these. <laughs> there's a whole lot of glasses on that shield. Doesn't look like there's anything else back there, though. Alright. Those are some strange looking chandeliers, ye. 
They look kind of like the UFOs from that movie, Michelle's Farm Tools. What kind of movie is that? I think a rather old movie. He seems to like a lot of classic things and talk about them. There's a whole lot of glasses on the shelf. Okay, I don't know. Okay, I keep looking. Okay. I, okay. Alright, well, I'll, I'll take the word for it, but is there anything more about the glasses themselves? A lot of glasses over there. A lot of glasses over there. Okay, cool. Now! Yeah, another card. Card five. Five of spades. But is there an ace of spades? You know the Motorhead song? Do do. Huh. Interesting. That's a weird looking thing floating in there. Gotta be a hint. I have to turn on those lights, yep. This is some kind of puzzle hint or something. Interesting. Wait, when those two lights turned on- oh, never mind. I thought I- I thought it was supposed to be a hint, but it looks like it's an actual unlocky boy. Wait, when those two lights turned on, I heard something from the bottom of the fireplace. What was that? I heard something down there. Coin bag. There are a whole bunch of coins stuffed into this velour bag. I didn't know it was called that. Neat. Look at all these coins. How these coins will allow us to convince the machines to move? Hmm. I'll look at the machines in a second. What's the stained glass? I feel like that's gonna be important. Check out that stained glass. How beautiful. What? Huh? Stained glass is colored pieces of glass placed together in a frame. As I've said many times before, I need only touch it to know. I can at least discern the basic structure. I see. Oh, he seems sad having to explain this. Or, you know, it, it seems like he wants to see it. But, well, we can't, unfortunately. Something on the table. Ah, uh, Bakura. You ever played Jupei? No, I've never. Alright then, how about I explain the rules to you a bit? See, Baccarat is kind of an unusual game. You've got the banker and the player. The whole point is that you guess which one's gonna win. And whether the banker or the player wins, it all depends on their hands. The way each hand works is different from other games too. I have a feeling this is gonna be a puzzle. Or else why would this be explained? Also, I don't know about Baccarat, so time to get edumacated. See, you take the number from the ones place after you add up the value of all your cards. Whoever gets the number closest to nine wins. If your number is smaller than your opponent's, you lose. Of course it's a game where you have to get nine, considering zero. And that's it. That's the explanation. Got it? Well, actually, there's a lot more to it. Strategy, details, that sort of stuff. But what I just told you sums up the core of the game pretty well. Makes sense. The single digit of the sum of all the cards you have. The strongest hand is a 9, the weakest hand is a 0. Makes sense. You just ignore the number in the 10th spot. I see. Do you get it? Uh, yeah. Well, uh, maybe half of it. Enough. I got a chance at winning the game if I played now. <laughs> However, we have no way of knowing if the puzzle in the Baccarat table makes use of those rules. And if it does, in what manner? Then I guess we try everything. Do we have all the cards? What is- okay, so... I can see the playing card behind- Do we have to win? Do we have to get nine? The glass case, it's the eight of spades. So we need a nine, I think, is what this is telling us. Wait, hold on, you need three. You ignore the number in tens place. Is that what it So wait, if I did like five, seven, four, would that- Well, I'll try that. Seven, are we supposed to play Baccarat? It's a Baccarat table, what the hell else would we do? Mm. Nah, stop worrying about it. It's real simple. It's the opponent's hand. Well, it's an eight night glass case. Alright, then that's your opponent's number. If that's the case, what three cards do we need to get that number? Three cards? There are a couple of indentations with white lines around it, right? Those mean we gotta put down three cards. So, there's three cards here to feed the opponent's eight. That's what I gotta do, I guess. Yeah, I think so. Hmm. It tells me those aren't the only rules. Alright, let's give it a shot. I have three cards, but make sure I got the rules straight. 
There are three empty indentations. I just gotta pick a card and play it. I figure if I put them in the right spots, something ought to happen. Right, let's give this a try. This song is awesome, I love it. It's forcing it to switch. I don't know why. It's forcing the 7 to go there. I don't know why. What does that even fucking mean? I think we need... I need exactly 9, right? But with... Okay, no. I need to back out, right? Wait, hold on. There's another card. There's a 3. Okay, hold on. Yeah, I... I we need to make sure we have all the cards, basically. Okay. Uh, so let's do that. I don't think we have the cards needed. Let's try to squeeze as many cards out of this place that we can. Nothing on the table anymore. This game is addictive. I love it. I love these puzzles. The more I get used to playing them. I have a feeling we need to do something with these coins. It says a one on the plate. Does that mean there's a one card in here? Hmm. Two and three, right? Yeah, oh, never mind, because I already have a three card, so that's probably not quite it. I've got symbols for heart, spades, and diamond here. Wait a minute. I have a feeling it might have something to do with this. By the way, it's interesting how these are floating. What they make spade diamond heart that's a spade, right? I think so. I think that's supposed to be a spade. That first symbol. It's kind of weirdly shaped, but I feel like it's supposed to be a spade. Or it might not be. I think maybe. I think that might be a hint. Yeah, but yeah, I think I've gotta make it in the same order, so spade. It's Spade Heart... No, Spade Diamond Heart. This song's awesome. Man, I love when the beat starts doing this, man. And then when this part comes in, right there, it's even more orgasmic. I love it, man. Oh, yeah, it's Spade Diamond Heart. They all have the same symbols, right? Yes. So I think I need to make them all Spade Diamond Heart, but maybe not. Actually, wait, it might be the hints... Hold on. The hints might actually be on the machines, right? Are they the same? Spade Diamond, Spade Heart. Spade Diamond, Spade Heart. Yeah, okay, no. They all have the same. I think we need to make them all Spade Diamond Heart. Main body of the slot machine. There's the coin slot on the upper left. Coin slot. How convenient, seeing as we only just now discovered a blue bag full of coins. I don't see anything suspicious. What about this one? Slot machine stand. I don't see anything- Okay, the stand. Okay. Main body, yeah, uh huh. Heart, spade, and diamond. Hmm? What do you mean? The symbols on the reels. They're the same as the playing card symbols that are solver at the fireplace. But this is different. Junpei, are the reels the only place where you see the symbols? Hmm. Huh? Don't you think the symbols might be found in other places as well, apart from the reels? I think- Okay, so we need to find more instances of the symbols in order to figure out what to- Um, how exactly to hopefully make the machines- have the right combination. I think we need to find three instances of the symbols. We have one, but is that even a hint? Hmm, wait a minute. What's that? Nine. Of course it's a nine. It says nine. Yep, looks like that cover's hiding something. If this is the cover, then maybe it opens up. Probably does. They meant to cover something up. There's a nine engraved in the middle of it. Aha! An ace of spades! Seems the card is attached to the panel attached very well, it seems. If you don't mind, what sort of card is this? It's a playing card. The Ace of Spades, in fact. Here's the card slot. Looks like we need to put a playing card in here. Let's give it a shot. Hmm. We need to... Do we need to do the digital root that adds up to nine? No, that doesn't make sense for an ace. Well, I mean, well, it's a one. Do we need to add it up to nine? Hmm. Let's see here. We might need to do a digital root that adds up to 9. Well, actually, wait, no, you need... No? Hmm. Maybe. But I think it might... You might just need to add it up to 9. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. No, yeah, um, hold on. Wait. Maybe that's not it. Not working. 
would seem. I'm shocked and appalled that guessing at random has not yielded better results. Yeah. Uh, okay, so, hmm. That's not it. Uh, what else do here? I guess we might need to win the Baccarat table. Wait, do we need to grab the Ace of Spades? Well, he says it's attached pretty well. I don't think we can grab the Ace. Ace of Spades is stuck. It's on the really good. I don't think I can get it off. Hmm. Yeah, considering we've been finding so many other cards and we need them for the Baccarat table, too. Actually, I might need the card behind that glass that it might unlock when we win against it. There might be more cards, too. Hmm. That is pretty well polished. Oh, you look at that. Someone left the bottle of booze here. Don't mind if I do. Look. Oh my god! Ha! That hits the spot. It's like my throat's burning. Yeah, we really drank it. I don't even know how long it's been there. Damn, hardcore. I love Seven, man. He's great. His spontaneity is unexpected. I feel like he doesn't really do that in the later section where I had him before, but it makes sense because everyone would be more nervous by that point. I'm, I'm really liking his lightheartedness here a lot. All right, well, let's try the Baccarat table again for now. It's the Baccarat table, and it's the glass case to set of it. Excuse me? Why can't I? Okay, why the fuck can't I? I'm so confused. What? Oh no, oh, okay, you have to activate the case. That's confusing. I feel like you shouldn't have to do that. Oh, actually, wait. Okay, I'm s- Okay, never mind. If it says- If it specifically mentions something about it, that's the thing you need to click to do something with it. That makes sense. Well, clicker in my case, press the X button on it. Can we start, I better make sure I got the rules straight. Three empty indentations. Pick a card and play it. Figure out if I put them in the right spots. Okay, so, hmm. I feel like I need another card that isn't like, I need like three that'll add up to nine, but how the fuck do I do that? Hmm. I have a feeling I might need a digital root. I think there's going to be another card. I'm going to try digital root of nine. The numbers we have to work with here are three, seven, five, four. One, three, seven, five, and four. Let's start by adding them all together. Two. Oh! Oh! 1 plus 3 plus 5 has a digital root of 9. And if this doesn't work, then it doesn't work. Oh, I don't get it. It's gonna waste your time if you don't sit down and try to think of it out, Jupe. Let's try and sort this out, alright? Okay, so it must not be the digital root of 9, but I tried, and I got one. There's the ace of spades on the left side of the card slot, and a 9 on the right side. That ace is a 1. So we gotta make 9 using 1 and the other cards we got. Oh, so that's it, huh? Okay, so the card we need is... The card? As in... Oh, you need one card! We need an eight that we don't have. We need this! Are there other cards? Do we really need to use the cards we have, but there are no other cards? I have this feeling it can't be as simple as what we what we have, because... Slot machine, it's going slot... What if I just kept... Oh, wait, duh! We need to use the bag to operate the machines. I think we need to turn them all to spade, diamond, heart, maybe? Let's put a coin to that bag in here. What happened? I heard an odd noise. Uh, well, to be honest, I don't know. Press some of the buttons and smack the machine once or twice, nothing happened. Oh, looks like the coin got stuck. Oh dear. Hmm. Coins are stuck in there, but good, the machine won't be working anymore. Here we go. Okay, so this one works. Okay, no, that's not how that works. Okay. I think I need Spade Heart Diamond. That's gonna be hard. Oh, but, well, I just got lucky. Oh, wow. I think I heard something unlocking. Okay, of course, 777. Impressive, GP. But it appears to be unlocked now. There's something akin to a drawer on the bottom part of the machine, yes? Pick up drawer for the... It is a pick up drawer for dividend. Probably the lock for the drawer got unlocked. Please open it if you would. He knows a lot of these things for being blind, I feel like. What about the deal is with the drawer at the bottom of the machine? Okay, no, hold on. Eh, right. Yep, I knew there'd be a card in there. What is it? Is there something in there? Yeah, a playing card. And this key with the Venus symbol on it. Excellent, Jinpei. And we'll be able to open the gate. We just need to figure out how to get out of this room. Correct. Come on, Jinpei, hurry up. And he's off. There's a playing card in a Venus key. Put the 
key in my pocket for later. There's the card! A two! Hey, Junpei. It was supposed to be Bakura, right? Yeah. Well, I was thinking, you might be right. So, all the cards they've got, just play using single digit numbers. Ignore this stuff. It tends place, is what I'm saying. This game seems a little different. I bet. I'll bet it used. Okay, never mind. Okay. So, I was on the right track. It's just not there, but here. You take the sum of your three cards. And your place the digital root of your cards. In other words, okay, never mind. We'll win if the digital root of the sum of three cards is larger than eight. Thank you very much. Okay, so two, three, four, five, seven. Yes. Okay. Just count up, but minus the six. So two, three, four, five, seven. That's what we have. So we need three cards. So. Wow! <laughs> I was expecting it to quite be that! First try, wow, that's lucky. Ooh. So... Yes, 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 yep, 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 alright. There we go. Bam! Alright, if it's put down three cards, yes, open for me. Great, you did it, Junpei. I think it's telling us to take the eight card? Come on, let's grab it. Hell yeah. Let's take this card. Eight of spades. The cards are put down stuck to the table. I'm going anywhere anytime soon. Okay. Anyway, I love this song. It's so good. It's so epic. It's so cool. It's so chill. Okay, so. And in you go. Hey! Alright, opened up. Ah, another device to contend with, yes. There are three slots in this one. Of course, since we have more cards, we need that. Should it add up to nine or have a dig digital root of nine? I'm guessing the latter, but. First, we never touched this machine. There's probably a card here, too. Okay, it's not letting me, so I guess it's only the second machine. Which means... Well, let's see what it says. Let's see. Three slots for cards. There's a nine right below them. Probably means we gotta make nine with the three cards within the slots, right? Just like we did over at the Baccarat table. Let's give a shot. Which means yes. Um, I feel like... Yeah. Yeah, probably. There's gotta be some more line around here somewhere. But how? Can I pull this card out? Of course not. thing next to it will close if you do. Mmm... Oh my god, I never noticed this card! Huh? Didn't think I'd find a card here. Was that there before? Either way, well first of all, let's verify here. We got a 7, 6, and a 5. So if I go... 5 plus 6 plus 7. Yes! Cool. There we are. Alright, so I put all the cards we had left into the slots. What happens now? That. Is that- Yes! I did hear something from the exit! Excellent work, Junpei. Wonderful. And I'm sure Snake heard it too, more vividly than us, I imagine. It seems the exit is unlocked. Let's go. We did it, hecky, we done did it. Nice, it feels good, but man. I'm really proud of how not super lost I got at all there. It was actually pretty simple for me, that room. It took some... This way. Big braining, but... Not near as much as last time. Probably because I've restarted the game, and last time I had to rack my brain for this was a couple of days ago, instead of definitely longer than that, because I stopped my last playthrough and then took a break, because that ending is an oof, man. But now I'm back to the game. The keyhole with the Venus symbol. The Venus key should work here. It sounds like it did. All right, let's get this thing open. No problem. Let me help with this one. It sounds as though you have opened it. 
We should be able to reach Sea Deck now, I imagine. Snake, uh, are you gonna be all right? I mean, the stairs. Please, do not do yourself the embarrassment of underestimating me. I would be unlikely to trip even if I were running backwards. Good to hear. Let's move. And everything looks okay here. I think it's because he's, he uses the wall to sort of steady himself or something. I'm not sure why he would be unlikely to trip, though, but I'm glad. We should check the next deck down, just in case. Just what I thought. D-deck is completely underwater. Just like the bottom of the central staircase. I'm just glad the water level hasn't changed much. Back to the sea deck then. Now, how about we check out what's here? There are two elevators over there, which means it's probably the same upstairs. There's a card reader between them. And another weird mark. Hey, uh, check it out. It's the symbol for Lotus. What? See? <laughs> it's got the woman symbol, and then it's got the devil horns, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see that. <laughs> I'm glad that these two could joke about her without her here so that she doesn't murder them. You know, I love her, but, you know, I kind of agree with them a little bit. <laughs> I love the voice acting for that. The delivery really, it really that felt was like he was cracking up. Junpei's oh, voice actor whoa, deserves a motherfucking watch it, medal. Man? Whoa, that hurts. You're gonna break my neck. <laughs> Seven, you're probably stronger than everyone else here, and you probably- it seems like you don't know your strength, so please let go of me before you break me, please, sir. What are you talking about? The human body ain't that- <laughs> I love this man. Maybe this'll toughen you up, huh? <laughs> if we were looking for a devil, we've got one right here. <laughs> this is a mercury symbol. I love how Snake listens to all this and just doesn't bat- well- he doesn't bat an eye because he doesn't have... Anyway, The marks on. you mistook for horns are a stylized version of the wings and staff of Hermes. Wings and a staff. Huh. So then, she beats you with the staff until you die and go to heaven. <laughs> oh my god! They're really milking this! Sounds like Lotus, alright. <laughs> Seven! Oh, that's too much! Oh, my head! Oh, I think I'm gonna... <laughs> Puke. Unless we can activate this device, I doubt the elevator will function. In other words, we gotta find a key card with a mercury symbol on it. So I would assume. Let's forget the elevators for right now. How about that hallway to the left? Whoa, there's a bunch of doors. Ah, shit. We're not gonna have enough time to check all these, are we? Maybe we can come back here later. We should check out the other side. Let's head back. To the right this time. Ah, there are doors here too. Ah. Well, I guess it's just four this time. Let's open them up, starting with the closest one there. Okay, I'm on it. Huh, it isn't locked. I'm going to open it. What? <laughs> hey, what? What is this place? It's so huge. And empty. Oh, there are beds everywhere. Is this a hospital? The harsh scent in the air is reminiscent of antiseptic solution. I think so. There are shelves in the center of the room with medicine and surgical tools. Hey, look there. The four doors at the end. The left door says three. The second door is blank, but the third has a seven. And the rightmost door is eight. There's no doubt. They're numbered doors. Hey, why is that door between three and seven blank? Does that mean anything? No point worrying about it right now. Let's see if these will open first. Yeah, good idea. Yep, locked. Just like I thought. Naturally. After all, there are rules to the nonary game. And to allow these doors to open easily would violate those rules. Unless we can authenticate ourselves with the red, the numbered doors will... Whoa, whoa, check this out. Look at the red. There's nothing on it. Huh? Don't you remember the red back at the main staircase? If there wasn't anyone in it, it said vacant on the little screen, remember? Oh, 
yeah. Yeah, you're right. But this one... There's nothing. Right? You think it's broken? Only one way to find out. No, nothing. How about the red on door 7? And door 3? I didn't think all of them would be malfunctioning. What does it mean? They've got to be broken. Man, that bastard. I didn't think Zero was the kind of guy who'd screw around with something like this. Whoa, whoa. Zero's been prepared for everything so far, and you're saying he's going to make a mistake now? Well, that's the only thing I can think of. This thing ain't working at all. Hmm... It seems as if some of the internal hardware has been removed. Internal hardware? That is what I said. Take a look at the underside of this red. If you please. The bottom? Huh. There's a thin slot here. I think it's a slot for something. Uh, probably electronic. The other two reds are the same. Something's been removed from all three of them. I get it. So the reds aren't working because somebody pulled out their guts. So I assume. But why? And who? I, I mean, it really doesn't make sense. I have no idea. Why on earth would I know something like that? Oh, what now? I have a feeling you know more than you're letting on, Snake, but, well, I don't know about this. Especially because you've been with June! us this whole time. Hey, June! Ace! Santa! Clover! A and Lotus! Okay, everyone's still here. I guess everyone's here. What are you guys doing? Why are you... That's my line? Perhaps we should exchange information. Okay, yeah, so this happens the same way. Everyone ends up gathering in the hospital room. After the and first that's what set we of know. doors. Well, this isn't good. If the red is inactive, we can't keep going. What about that big hallway? Maybe there's somewhere in there we might be able to go. No, there's nothing there. The five of us had a quick look. There are plenty more hospital rooms, but nothing else. You mean all those doors are for hospital rooms? Yes. There are a number of individual rooms in addition to this large one. There was a door at the end of the hallway, but it was locked. It had one of those solar system mark things on it. It was the Jupiter symbol. Jupiter. I wonder what it means. While we're asking what things mean, uh, what's the deal with this room? I mean, I thought this was a cruise ship, but I can't imagine a cruise ship would have a hospital like this. Well, I figure it's probably a hospital ship. Chances are it's the Gigantic. The Gigantic? What is this Gigantic? The Gigantic. She was a sister ship to the Titanic, built in the early 20th century. Actually, the Titanic had two sister ships, and they looked exactly the same. The Gigantic was said to be one of them. They intended to make her a passenger liner like the Titanic, but World War I began soon after the ship launched. The British Navy took her over and made her a hospital ship. At some point during the war, the Gigantic was damaged by a German mine in the Aegean Sea. I know we've seen this before, but the reason that I am playing it now is because I want to reacclimate myself to these plot points and see if I can figure something out. She ran aground afterwards, so she didn't end up sunk. What happened to her after that? One theory going around is that a man named Lord Gordain bought her. Seemed like he'd been one of the few to survive the Titanic sinking. That trauma turned him into some kind of obsessive collector of all things related to the Titanic. Soon enough, the guy wanted the Titanic itself. Which was impossible, of course. It stuck at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean, but the Gigantic wasn't. And seeing she was identical... So you're saying this Lord Gordain bought this ship? Yeah, at least I think I am. That's impossible. No way we're in some boat that's almost a hundred years old. I mean, considering the decoration of this place, and how old a lot of the place look, looks like, it very well could be, dude. Pipe down. Just pay attention. What, that's it? Well, have you got any proof? I guess I do want to advance this now. Oh, it doesn't- it's not letting me. Well, whatever. Proof? Proof that this ship is really the gigantic. Well, uh... This ship's got stuff that's like the Titanic and a hospital ship. Oh, for goodness. Don't tell me that's your only reason. No, I I've got more. Like? Well, uh, I mean, I don't know. <sighs> yeah. It's interesting because, yeah, we so, learn about Seven's memory beforehand in this one, so the conversation here is different. But yeah, yeah. once the whole well, blurb about the gigantic it sounds stuff, like the clock basically what I'm seeing is stairway. Snake might be Lord Gordain. That's my theory. Ten, I don't know if Snake really looks old enough to 11, be him, but he may. 12. 
Uh, Twelve. Or like the son of Lord Gordain, maybe? It's midnight. Then we've still got six hours left, right? Let's get going. We gotta find the missing parts for the Reds. What do you mean, find? How on earth do you propose we do that? We've looked everywhere in this room, but we haven't found anything. Right. That only leaves one place to look. One? Uh, well, not just one. Uh Uh-huh. Wait. Don't tell me you mean we need to search all of the other rooms. Well, you already checked some of them out before you came here, right? Is Snake still gonna die here? Hmm, I'm curious. I do wonder. We each checked a single room, so five rooms in total. Pretty sure this is the same. Can I skip this? Please tell me I can do that. Please tell me I can skip this. I think it's very similar. Let's try auto. It really does look like... I don't know. Alright then. <sighs> we just have... If each... There are 48. Uh... Uh, maybe? Oh, yeah. Oh, all right. he's so been... So everyone knows oh, which area they're searching? I just realized why he knows all this. He did research on this ship in order to investigate what was going on here, right? Yeah. Yes! We'll all meet up when the clock goes off again. Ah, uh, how about in that room with all the beds? But yeah, it looks like he knows the heck out of this place. But more than maybe you would expect for how he seemed to have come to it, the more I think about it, actually. So that's a bit, hmm... Yeah. Sounds straightforward enough. I'll shout if I find any of the components we need. I hope we can find them with- If we can't? Right. Then let's do this. Yeah, like I said, the reason skipping a lot of this is, you know, a lot of this is the samey same stuff. It's one. I better get back to the others. Yeah, so... Yeah, we find nothing here, and then I think we need to do other searches later. Huh? What are they doing over there? What happened, guys? Jumpy! Vacant. Yep. There we go! Come on, guys. Who was it? Hmm. Huh. Man. See, if Snake was zero slash Lord Gordain, right? If Lord Gordain is zero, right? Or if he's lord or if he's zero in any way then what if he had those electronics on him the whole time right and what if perhaps maybe the body is not him somehow maybe it's fake maybe it's like just someone else maybe that body was there the whole time and he put clothes there that looked like his or that were his maybe even before this began maybe and He's just actually zero, but then, what would that make Clover? And also, yeah, Snake is not here again, so the same thing happened. I thought we were supposed to yell if we found it. But see, if Snake well, was zero, he must have had those on him and wanted them to search, and I guess waste some more time. What is up with you guys? And, and in order to keep the game going and interesting, maybe? And then put the electronics back inside. So since he was the one who pointed out that they were missing, right? So... Hmm. Especially because I know that she probably couldn't be, and Seven probably couldn't be, because we learned about them that she was the mother of two of the kids that were in the experiment that originally happened on this boat. And Seven was the cop that was well, that's investigating the thing. that. We don't know. You don't know? When I got back, it was already like this. There was no one else here. That means I was the first one back, but the missing parts were already back in the red. What? Th let me see. You're right. It's in there. What about the other two? They're the same. Let me take a look. It's just as you said. All right, I, I just want to be sure here. Nobody has any idea what the hell happened here, right? Correct. None. <sighs> Clover hug. Huh. Wait a minute. Where's Snake? Does that mean that he found them? I think so, but... Mm. I have no idea. There's nothing to suggest it. But nothing to suggest he didn't, either. He, I think he had them all along on his person, in that coat of his, and he's zero. That's my theory, right now. I don't suppose we'll know until we can ask him in person. Well, whatever he did or didn't do, he's pretty damn late. What the hell is he up to? Maybe he's lost. 
Yeah, well, that seems likely. Dude can't see. I don't know how he gets around in the first place. Well, considering we were just with him, he he gets around fine. I wonder if we're gonna bring that up because we were with him. No! That's impossible! Clover hug. I kind of want to skip this because oof. So, yeah, so I'm gonna, in fact, I like, we know this. Hey. We know what happens here. Well, A lot of this is the exact well, same. The red no! We're not leaving two people behind! We- Oh, man. Oh. Then we we've only- Let's split up. Alright. Well, then I shall look that way. I'll be over here. Let's see you all later. Alright. We should go too. Yes! Let's go! But- where should we start? Let's see. I'm actually gonna leave it here, friends, for now. So I hope y'all have lovely, lovely days, and I will see y'all in my next episode, where we continue what's going on here, and we're gonna be deliberately choosing different groups of people still, and seeing what other endings we can get to. So I hope y'all have lovely ones, friends, and I will see y'all in the next episode, and perhaps on my streams on Twitch. I uh, try to stream most days on Twitch. The times right now are shaky, I don't really know. I'm gonna- I'm experimenting, basically. And right now, I think I'm gonna start Mass Effect 2 today, but I don't know. Anywho, friends, take care, be kind to each other, do what you love, and have lovely, wonderful days, friends. See you next time.